Okay, so I've been asked to give one way to justify why um, two negative numbers multiplied together result in a positive number. Um, I'm going to start with why a positive number times a negative number uh, results in a negative number and then build from there. Um, I'm going to use tables. Um, so as you can see here in my first table, um, we're multiplying by 2. So we have 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 is 1, and 2 times 0 is 0. These are things that we already know because we learned our times tables a long time ago. Okay, so now the real question is, is as we look at these results, we're going to look at patterns here. And if we look at these results, what would I need to do to 6 to get to 4? And someone out there in the out there in the universe said, you need to take off two. Yeah, you do. So six minus two, six minus two gives us four. Does this pattern hold? Four minus two gives us two. Two minus two gives us zero. So what we're doing is we're subtracting two each time. So if we were just focusing on this column again, we're ignoring these two for the moment because we filled in what we do know, and we're ignoring these for two for a moment just to look at the pattern that we see. So the pattern is to get to the next one, we're going to subtract 2. So 0 minus 2 is going to be um, negative 2. Negative 2 minus 2 is going to be negative 4. Or negative 4 minus 2 is going to be negative 6. So now let's go inspect and see what we've got. Well, we see these positive numbers, positive times a positive. 2 times 3 is 6. 2 times 2 is 4. Now we get down here to 2 times negative 1. 2 times negative 1 must be negative 2 because we need to continue the pattern here in this third column. So 2 times negative 2 must be negative 4 because, again, we're continuing this pattern that we had. And then 2 times negative 3 must give us negative 6. So based on this pattern in this column here of subtracting 2 each time, we get that a positive integer times a negative integer gives me a negative integer. And uh, right now I'm not going to go through the whole switching it um, I can, if I could if you wanted to, but uh, for right now, we're just going to assume that the commutative property holds. Um, so here we've established that a positive times a negative, a positive integer times a negative integer gives us a negative integer. Because in the right column, each time we go down a step, we're subtracting two. Okay, so now let's look over here. Uh, and I need to edit my, oh, come on. Dr. Windsor can't, can't multiply, it must be summer. Uh, that's okay. I'm not worried about perfect videos. So now we've got negative 2 times negative 3. Notice we took this bottom part of this um, table and we put it over here. And when, in this case, we've made the, ne the 2 negative. And again, we just did these in, pos in descending order, positive numbers. So negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. That jives with what we know. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4, negative 2 times 1 is negative, uh, negative 2, and negative 2 times 0 is 0. Notice these are descending, and notice these are descending. Again, we go, for the, we go to the third column to look at the results, and again, focus on the pattern. So go from negative 6 to negative 4, what would we need to do? And, of course, one of our best students would say, you need to add 2. Yeah, we need to add 2. Does this pattern hold? Negative 4 plus 2, does that give me negative 2? Yes, it does. Negative 2 plus 2, does that give me 0? Yes, it does. So then to get to this next one, I need to go 0 plus 2 to get my next result. So that should be 2. 2 plus 2 should give me my next result, which is 4. 4 plus 2 gives me 6. Okay, now let's look at the table and see what's happened. Notice down here we get to negative 2 times negative 1 because we're decreasing this column by 1. Negative 2 times negative 1, and it gives me a positive 2. And negative 2 times negative 2 gives me a positive 4. And negative 2 times negative 3 gives me a positive 6. This all follows from this column and the pattern that we saw that to go from, the, go from here to the next cell down, we add 2. And from here to the next cell down, we add 2. So it's all about patterns. And the patterns justify the rules. So hopefully you enjoyed that little video quite a little bit. Mm, we'll see.